it up. Today's episode, we're gonna have a look at this rig. You're probably wondering where the hell we are. Well, I'll get to that later. My last episode, we talked about this Hilux. It was fairly stock, didn't have anything, you know, no mods whatsoever. As you can tell guys, off camera, I've done a fair bit of work to it. Look, I know this isn't gonna be very interesting, but those who are interested, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done and then we'll talk about future plans. So first of all, you probably noticed the bull bar is now on the Hilux. Yes, it doesn't look like it fits. That's because it's an N80 bull bar. This bull bar is on the next generation. I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on a bull bar. As with most of my builds, I'm on a budget. This bull bar only cost me $500 on Marketplace. So we made it fit, made it work. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. Moving over to the suspension. If you have a look down there, you'll see that there are two inch lifted struts in there now. Only for the front. The rear on the Hiluxes, even though my leaf springs are sagged, still has a fair amount of travel. So I thought to keep it soft, I wanted to keep the same stock suspension in the rear. And it actually makes the car seem pretty level. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Coming over to the rear guys, I have also put an N80 rear bar. I like the rear bar on an N80. It looks much nicer than the standard N70 SR5 rear bar. Uh, it just looks more flush. It sits a bit higher. So I put that on there. Other than that, the rear is pretty much as it was. The SR5s also come with a sports bar. I took the sports bar off. I don't like the look of it. I like the clean look without the sports bar. It makes the tub lid look nice and flush. It also gives the tub a nice bigger look. I've kept the engine pretty stock as well. Just done the typical maintenance, fuel filter, engine filter. I've actually serviced the transmission as well. I wanted the transmission to be nice. Coming over here though, like in all things on a budget, I've made myself a catch can. Looks dodgy as, but look, I don't want any more of that soot getting into my engine. You guys saw in my last video, I cleaned out the intake manifold and the EGR and it was caked. It's like earwax. That is incredible, mate. Disgusting. Go his ears, mate, on a good day. Absolutely filthy. Having this makeshift catch can will just help keep that oil out of the engine. It's basically an old paint stripper bottle. And I've mounted it to the side just like this. This comes off and all the old crappy oil gets caught in there. I've also installed an EVC throttle controller. There's a lot of controversy out there with the throttle controllers. I've read a lot of forums. Some people saying they like them, some people saying they don't. I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on a tune. The throttle controller though, really gives you that low down grunt when you need it. I'm not sponsored by Ultimate 9, you know, any throttle controller company, but I just want to quickly talk about the throttle controller, what I've experienced and how good they really are. You can obviously go and search up what the throttle controller does, so I don't need to go into details, but for those you want to use their Hilux off-road, especially dirt roads, and want to lose a bit of traction, just so you can see the difference between eco mode and ultimate mode. Right now I'm in eco mode. Put it in drive. I put my foot pretty hard down in the accelerator. As you can see, not much traction loss there. If I put it into ultimate mode, U9 for example, which is the highest, I'll just tap the accelerator slightly. to be of an animal. So rather than 
than paying thousands of dollars for a tune, I thought the throttle controller was a great alternative to unleash that power, low down, so I have the power when I need it. So, let's talk about future plans. Cars, they're great, they're fun. Hiluxes, awesome, tough, you can take them anywhere. However, the internet, especially YouTube, is saturated with cars, four wheel drive videos, so I'm sure you guys can get content like this elsewhere. To make things interesting, Rig It Up is not only going to be about cars, I'm going to be expanding this channel to all sorts. With all the land we have out here, the possibilities are endless. Cutting down trees, building things, we're going to be rigging up most things in our life. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to try and make my content as interesting as possible for most audiences. <laughs> Thank you.